that can't be budget food. It depends what kind of budget you have. <laughs> As you all know, prices have gone up. And we were wondering, because it's lunchtime, can you still get some budget food that is tasty, but on a budget? Let's go try. So you can always get a roti from a motorbike guy, and that's always going to be budget. 15 rupees for this. Oh, lots of bean on. Red. A little bit of chili. And you'll hear them coming down the road and they go doot doot. And then you just stop them and they give you a roti. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Definitely not hurt the budget at all. Not at all. 15 rupees. That's what it looks like. And it's probably the most eaten food in Mauritius. Probably. <laughs> Let's see if this one's any good. Oh. You missed the taste. <laughs> and then, if you're lucky, the roti guy will help you cross the road. Oh. This is oh my cake. Tacos. They 210. So, it just goes to show, sometimes you have to look around because you can actually be surprised. Or you can just follow our page and we'll tell you all the new secrets. Oh, wow. oh man. That is beautiful. It is like a forest of prettiness. Wow, sometimes you really can be surprised if you look around what you can get at a price that doesn't kill your budget. That looks so beautiful. I'm genuinely blown away by this. It's like got pomegranates and little sprouts and beautiful pieces of chicken. It's look also at that. And caramelized onion. Yes, and a salsa. It looks absolutely amazing and like a yogurty dressing. It, wow. Real tacos. Oh. <laughs> you gotta eat them properly, Rick. Mm -hmm. and the flavors are oh, mm. little twist with the pomegranate. You gotta try. But I'm loving the I'm loving the idea that Mauritius has a beautiful mm. fresh taco mm -hmm. with guacamole and everything. Mm -hmm. When you said budget friendly, budget friendly, but it has to be tasty. Absolutely. Winner, Ticks winner, all the boxes. Chicken taco dinner. <laughs> it really doesn't hurt that it's in such a beautiful location as well. No, oh, this is fantastic. It's my cake or something, I think. It's oh, my cake. cake. Oh, my cake. <laughs> <laughs> this is Maureen, you the owner. Hi. Maureen also points out that not only is it budget friendly and looks amazing and tastes amazing, but this is actually healthy. Oh, fantastic. You just gotta go out and look for it. Mm -hmm. Street food. You're always going to get something budget. And a lot of the time, something really, really yummy. Let's go check out some of this stuff. Things you can still get for under 50 rupees. Halim. And and curry. It's a great budget eat there. Uh, noodles or rice with chicken, 90. On the beach. It's fantastic, of course. Mauritius is all about the beach. You're going to find a lot of the street foods on the beach are going to be your standard, very, very budget friendly. All very cheap. A little bit more expensive than you would find 100 meters inland but you can't beat the views you can't you yeah exactly we only 200 oh wow yeah we'll go inland a bit this is paradise as you know one of my favorite places for thai food but they actually do have some stuff that you can get on a budget so like the fried rice is 135 here single chicken lander 125 and it looks like a beef burger Egg as well, 125 Egg the beef the, the lamb is 150. It is one of the problems that we're running into at the moment is that the stuff that's really on a budget like the ferrata, the veg ferrata here, 20 rupees, but it's sold out. Of course it is. So all the really good stuff that's on a budget has already been sold out. you got to come early. One of the downsides of Grand Bay Beach, lack of parking. But you can normally find it in a little alleyway. I love the shopping malls because you've got toilets normally, loads of parking, all sorts of things like that. But can you get a meal on a budget here? I don't know. Let's go have a look. Okay, drive that burgers. You can get a single beef burger for 190 and a chicken burger for 160. This is food sensei. We're gonna get the tempura chicken. So yeah, we actually did find some budget friendly dishes at the mall. Look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. Tempura chicken on sticks. This is great because that's quite a lot of chicken. You get a little mayonnaise with it. It's hot, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat it yet. Heavy. Big chunk of chicken. Mm -hmm. Solid chicken. Crispy, crispy, crispy batter and it's flavors. Yum, yum, yum. 
as you saw, we can get budget here in the mall. You are going to find on the street, you're going to find a bigger portion, maybe not as beautifully presented, but they don't have air, con air conditioning. Yes, food. What's this? Salmi. It's an embrace. Oh, it smells so good. You are crazy. Nima? Right. Is it a? What's going on, Nima? It's a chili. It's chili, yeah. Yeah, the ball. Do do dab dab. It's ready. Put it here. Oh man, a little bit of everything. On oh, noodles, they're noodles. They're actually loads of noodles. They're back noodles there. back there, yeah. She measured them out well. Mean boy, do do dab dab. Uh -huh. Oh man, it is. It is a classic from Yes Foods. It was the crab bouillon. What is that flavor? Grandma's secret. Oh, oh, that's a that that's a good bouillon. <laughs> Also, a secret from his grandmother. Mm. I love boiled eggs. The roast egg. Oh, there's man. supposed to be noodles. Yeah, there <laughs> are noodles. But there's also, there's the lamb, there's the octopus, there's this, this stuff, that's clams. I really want to try this clam thing because I have no idea what it is. Still have no idea. Tastes good though. <laughs> and the octopus. This, you get on bread. Everyone's coming for this. This is yeah, going to be the... Yeah, it looks really popular. Probably the top seller. Yeah, there's loads of people around us, they're just all being really <laughs> quiet. Mmm. <laughs> oh, actually soft. Nice one, Jean-Pierre. Soft octopus. Check it out, the noodle. Right? Uh-huh. It's thinner than the regular ones you get. Uh-huh, it gets it specially made. They're specially made, and you want to like them? Uh-huh. Because they're thinner, they get more of the sauce around them. <laughs> and they're much softer. I do do dab dab. This is the bread with chicken, oh it's heavy. And remember this was 75 rupees. Look at that. You know that's really lovely with that super fresh soft bread and that rich juicy chicken and you can get like mayonnaise and chili on it. It really does look good. Wait as much food as usual Dominique, thank you so much. There you go. See you again. Bye. <laughs> There are lots of different places around Mauritius that you're going to find your wonderful budget meals. And including at uh, like car washes and things. They particularly look out for the car washes. They always have a, well a lot of them have a food place. And this one is really cool. And they actually have fish vindaya. Yeah. Vindaya poisson. <laughs> vindaya poisson, exactly, on parata. And if it looks like it's running out, don't worry, they've got more. The good places are popular. You know them from the empty tubs. They've got tables and chairs. Yeah, let's go check it out. And you're going to find this all around Mauritius. Everywhere, nice place in this in the shade. Yeah, beautiful. Street view. I like how you planted the palm trees. Parking, yeah. But it's all about what's here in front of me. Quality homemade food. Poisson Vindaya. It's such a beautiful sunny day behind you, so we're not going to be able to see much of Brian, but we no. don't really care. Yeah, Eat matter. your burrata. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sometimes you just got to come up to the village to get proper fish. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not only is it great budget food here, but it's actually quite a nice setting. And look, it's Foodie Point. And this, this is a Lower Vale. And right there is the traffic circle. First one as you come out of La Cuisette. Another great thing is, you always need such nice people. I know, I was about to say, I love the Mauritian snack shops. The owners are always so super friendly and nice. And you've got this whole community kind of vibe. It's really a bit of a mission trying to find parking and stuff, but we've got some chicken. Although chicken is available all over the island as well. Let's go get some. Wow, so here you go. An amazing menu. Like a 70s family pack for 350 rupees. Rounder and chips, 135. Decent budget meals. Of course, well, it's yum. Um, you're going to find like KFC but homemade versions. And they're really, really tasty all around Mauritius and you're gonna get a pretty good meal oh wow we just saw this as well probably should have tried one of those absolutely maybe a little ketchup as well oh, wow oh, wow that doesn't look too bad well that's a massive drumstick yeah wow Let's see if the other one's the same wow those are big drumsticks Ricky's busy scoffing the chips they're actually really uh, good they are they're actually properly seasoned yeah, they're, they're a lot better than the other place that classically makes fried chicken's chips. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Not mentioning names, but it really is about the chicken, although the chips are really good. Is it crunchy? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it looks pretty crunchy. Mm. But is it soft and juicy? Oh, man. Mm. Oh, it looks pretty good, eh? Yeah, Mauritians know how to make fried chicken. Mauritians know how to make fried chicken. Sometimes street food is the best food. But have a look what makes them special, right? I don't know, it's like they've almost roasted the chicken. And you get this a lot. This is common in Mauritius. The chicken is like juicy roasted chicken that then has been battered and deep fried. It's just all juicy. <laughs> Trilla, yeah, in between Grand Bay and Trobiche. Wonderful bunch of foods here. Uh -huh. Just difficult to find parking. Yeah, there. You park on the street. Have a look at all the cars. But great restaurants. Grand Harry, Indian culture. We're going to try the tali here. No way can that be budget food. No way. Okay, it has to be said. How is this budget food? Look yeah, at that. Got the budget of a king. Uh huh. Oh man, that with your shirt color matching the curry, and then the wall behind you is just stunning. Thumbnail material. Oh, I just can't get enough of that. Oh man, I'm on one knee, Rick. Stand up, stand up. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> oh wow. Finally, we get to eat it. I don't even know where to begin. Well, I do actually. Of course you do. Oh, this is nice, stretchy, strong. I want to see what this stuff is. I'm just going to be bold. Mmm. Um, they're little peas. Mmm. Oh, they're really good. It's like a bitch curry. Mmm. This will be dull. You kind of want to grab that with some... Because that's about the only one that you can sticky sticky with your rice. Because <laughs> you don't get implements. I'm sure you can ask for them, but there's no fun in that. So I went to go clean my fingers from the thing. And absentmindedly took out these things and put them on the table. But yes, you actually get beautiful cutlery. <laughs> <laughs> it's not have to eat with your fingers. <laughs> Mm. Just tastes good. Oh yeah, slightly sweet, beautiful spicing. Mm. Slightly sweet, uh, lots of spicing, but not chili. What sort of price was this on a budget? Oh, you need to bring out your Maharaja's budget for this one. No, you don't. <laughs> it's only $2.25. So you can get food on a budget that is looks this good and tastes. Oh yeah, no, amazing. This, this is a winner for me. This is top tip budget food. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, <laughs> eight dishes mm -hmm. and all of that under a thousand rupees, twenty-five mm -hmm. dollars. And that's between the two of us, and we were full the whole time we were shooting this. <laughs> wow, I've hardly ever been that full. <laughs> Bye, Eric. And everyone, thanks for watching. We gotta go get some pizza now. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding.